All right, just wanted to show you how to install and use a uh, neat little uh, Chrome extension called Whisper. Whisper allows you to um, send uh, notes one way to your students who are using the Chromebooks in your classroom, um, assuming that you've had them previously sign up in Google Classroom. So um, to get to the Chrome Web Store on your desktop, you're going to go to Chrome Web Store, uh, chrome.google.com slash web store, or you can click on the apps button and then choose Web Store. Then you're going to search for Whisper. And the first result that will come up is Whisper by EdTech Team, and that's the one we want. So we're going to click plus add to Chrome. I already did that just to save a little time in the video here. It'll probably ask you to have a pop-up here and it'll allow it. Um, and then it comes up. When it first comes up, you're going to click here, and it's going to give you a little link that you have to click on to go get a token. Token's a little website URL address that you're going to then click back in here and paste in the box. And basically, that gives Whisper authorization to connect and use your Google Drive and your Google Classroom um, to send messages. Okay. So once you've got Whisper installed here and your students have installed it on their Chromebook, you're then able to send them a Whisper. Currently, the way we have it set up um, from at this point is so that students have to optionally go in and set it up themselves, Whisper. They don't have to do the authorization link. They just install the app. Um, down the line, we need to set it up so that it's on every sixth grade or every seventh grader's Chromebook. But for now, they have to manually install it. So to send a whisper, you're going to just click on this. It'll spin for a few minutes, and then it will load all of your Google Class classrooms. You simply go to the class you want. And if you click there, you can then send a message to that class. If you click on the little head next to that classroom, you can send a message to a specific student in your class, and you'll see a whole list of them. So you then type in here your message, and then you click send, and on their screen it will pop up with a little message saying that a whisper has been sent to you by your teacher and what the message is. So it could be, you know, Johnny, get back to work, or please come up to the desk. I need to talk to you about your paper, um, any type of thing you want. Basically, it allows the rest of the class to keep working on what they're working without being disturbed by you um, talking out loud. Okay. So that's how, on the teacher side, you send a whisper. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the student side in just a sec. All right. So now your students have got the whisper icon installed. If they click on it, they'll see any past messages. So even if you receive a message um, after the fact, it'll be there. And then now the student's going to close a couple tabs while we're waiting for the new message to come in that we just sent. And what will happen is in the bottom corner, it'll pop up and show you the new message. There it is. This is a whisper test, exclamation mark. It also is indicated by a one up here on your um, extension bar right there that shows you have one new message since the last time you came in. And then if you click on that um, message or on the log up at the top, it shows you your log of messages and clear as the counter.